just wanna, I just wanna see you free, free, free. Hey everyone, happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great week and that it just went really smoothly. Um, this week we're gonna talk about living for Christ in your youth. I don't know if you guys have heard this. I have from people I know who have said, um, right now, like, I'm young. I just want to live in the moment. Like, I'll turn, I'll completely give my life over to Christ in a few years. Like, after college, I want to be able to party and all that stuff. And then I'll serve him fully. Like, that's when I'll do it. And I've always been like, I don't think that's how it's supposed to go. Then I ran across this verse that I'm going to read to you guys. And then I was like, okay, there we go. Like, it just says it right there. Um, I'll read it to you guys. It's Ecclesiastes um, 12.1. And it says, Don't let the excitement of youth cause you to forget your Creator. Honor Him in your youth before you grow old and say life is not pleasant anymore. Um, whenever I would hear people say that kind of stuff, I'm just thinking, okay, so what if today you decide, all right, Lord, I'm not, I'm not going to serve you today. Like I'll wait a few years, whatever. Well, what about tomorrow? If you're not here, like you never know what's coming. And I think that's, what's always made me be like, all right, I don't know if there's a tomorrow. I don't, you know, I don't know if there's a year from now or two years from now. Nobody knows. Only the Lord knows. And um, I've just always thought, well, if there's not a tomorrow for me, I want to make sure that today I serve the Lord in the absolute best possible way that I can. That doesn't mean that we're not going to have days when we're going to screw up or make a mistake because everybody makes mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh, sorry. Um, Hannah Montana, I guess, sorry, it's coming out. Um, but we're going to have those days when, yeah, we do make a mistake, but... If we repent and we say, all right, Lord, I'm sorry, like, I, I'm not going to do that again. I'm going to keep striving. I'm going to keep pursuing you. I'm going to keep doing that stuff. Then he sees your heart. And if you're truly seeking after him, it, yeah, you're going to make a mistake, but he's already forgiven you for that. So you just keep going. But don't just say, oh, I'm young right now. I'll wait until I'm like in my late 20s or something to really, really buckle down and, uh, and go like full force for Jesus, but until until then, I would just want to YOLO. Ugh, I'm not trying to bring that back. One of the worst sayings I think ever and most annoying um, is you only live once. Okay, yes, that is true, but I would rather live every day for the Lord since I don't know if there's a tomorrow rather than party this day, do this the next day, this the next day, and in a few days. I got you, Lord. I'll be there in a few days. Just wait. Well, you don't know if you have that few days. So right now, like right in this moment, live for the Lord. Yeah, you might be young. I know sometimes it's unpopular to follow Christ and it's unpopular to say no to things. But guess what? It happens. It says in the Bible that people aren't going to like us because, hey, we're not doing what the normal thing is. We're not going to get involved with what the normal thing is. And that's okay, because guess what? You're going to have other believers around you who are going to build you up and be like, hey, I'm not either. Let's stick together and let's fight to further his kingdom. So live for today. Don't just put off Christ for another day because you don't know if you have that next day. You just need to live right now for the Lord in the best way that you possibly can. So, love you guys. I will see you next week. Thanks for tuning in and... Seriously, you guys are awesome, and uh, can't wait to see you next week. Bye. I just wanna, I just wanna see.